are warning parents. It's all over social media. A terrifying video that targets your kid. The online challenge encouraging children to kill themselves. A suicide game. Encouraging children to harm themselves. Hee hee, I'm Momo. What's your name? Play dead. Momo was a big talking point on daytime TV today. Yeah, it's a scary face, but there's loads of them on the internet. Um, what makes it dangerous? How does it? How is it linked with suicide? What have we actually physically seen that is that is causing this? I think it's the case of even if it is a hoax, you know, all this hysteria and hype. Hello. I'm on my way home. Um, had a long day in London. I'm just making my way home. And as I was making my way home, a thought came to mind. This Momo thing's been going on all over the internet. My initial reaction was panic. It made me think back to all the times when I had given my children the laptop or the iPad when I needed five to 10 minutes to myself. Okay, let's be real, it was, it was a lot longer than five to 10 minutes, at least I'm talking like hour, hour plus. So after the initial panic and worry of, oh my goodness, I hope my kids haven't watched any of that stuff. I hope it hasn't popped up on my children's screen. I started to feel really guilty. Now I started to feel guilty for all the times that I had let my children watch TV without me and when I needed time to myself. So I started to panic that, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna have any time to myself ever again. Like when they're at home, I'm not gonna be able to edit when they're awake um, and that I'm most productive. So what am I going to do to combat this problem? That these evil people have decided that they're gonna embed these horrible messages into this video. What am I going to do? Now, it's good to note that it's not just because of this Momo thing that I've been feeling guilty. To be honest, whenever my children are on screen, iPhone, tablet, whatever it is, I always have this sense of guilt, this sense of almost I can hear their brains being fried. I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's how I feel. I feel like I can hear their brains being fried, literally. And because of that, um, we in our house have limited already the amount of time that they have on TV. So they only get like maybe half an hour, an hour every night or every day. Um, and then on the weekends, it's free for all. You can kind of do what you want. So now um, on the weekends, they get their tablets, they watch their iPhone, their tablets for as long as they like. And they, they kind of only are allowed to go onto YouTube Kids or to use um, any apps that we have downloaded, so any games, learning games, educational games. Um, my son kind of likes, what's that one? Subway Crusher something. Anyway, Surfer, Subway Surfer. He likes those games as well, so he's allowed to watch those things. So if you're worried about screen time the same way that I'm worried about screen time and you haven't installed YouTube Kids, that's the first thing I'd suggest you do. You can also um, put parental guidance on it and that means you can limit the amount of time. You can set how long they're on it. You can also put a password on it as well. So I would definitely recommend you doing those two things if you haven't done that already. The other thing that I'm thinking of doing is to set up a playlist. Now, I, what I probably would do is right before I plan the kids to have screen time, I'll sit down with them and say, okay, right, pick videos that you want to watch for the next hour and set up a playlist. That way, we both know what you're watching and I can see in the history as well. The only thing is that it means that you might need to pre-screen some videos because obviously if people are putting messages right in the middle of the videos, you're not going to know what that is unless you've pre-screened and pre-watched. You might as well just have them in the room with you. The thing is, mum guilt is never really going to die, is it? If I really think about it, it's never really going to die. It's either that I work a lot more and provide for a, a kid, that I provide a life for my kids that I really want. I mean, they'll look on, this is why I banned Nick Jr., right? <laughs> because Nick Jr. has so many adverts and then they'd be asking for everything that's in the adverts. So now we, you know, only really watch CBBS to be honest. And if they watch Nick Jr., it must be a treat because I just don't like the, can I have that now? Can I have this now? And then they know every toy, right? So I just don't watch Nick Jr. anymore. So I've picked up some more hours. I'm working a lot more. I'm out hustling. 
and I've started to feel really guilty like I've started to feel even more guilt than I usually do I've started to wonder if I'm doing the right things for my kids if maybe you know they would prefer if I'm just at home but the reality is I'm not happy if I'm just at home and I don't want to say just as in like it's an easy job like you're not doing anything if you're at home and you don't have a hustle and things like that that's not what I mean I mean like I'm not fulfilled and I feel that this whole mum guilt thing and screen time guilt and all of that stuff has made me realize that actually I am my best me if I'm out doing stuff so when my kids do get me they get in the best of me not this person who is worried because I haven't given them what I want so yeah I can be at home and I could make sure that the laundry is done and the house is spotless and you know you could eat from the floor and that would be great but there are a whole lost list of things that actually matter a bit more to me that I want to provide for them and in order to get that I need to go out to work so this guilt about feeling like, what am I doing? I should be at home. It, do you know what? I have to keep going back to my why. I'm out here hustling for them so that we can go and I can surprise them to Disneyland or buy them the latest trainers or little things like that. I'm not even talking about massive things. These are little things. So sometimes you might need to sacrifice you might just need to sacrifice so you know I thought things were gonna be a certain way and I was only gonna you know focus on my creative stuff but to be honest it looks like I'm gonna have to put my head down and <laughs> work a lot harder to live that creative life so if you're a mum out there and you're worried about Momo and you're also worried about guilt I just want to use this opportunity to encourage you to say we're all in the same boat when I was focusing just on looking after my kids, I was worried that I about money. When I was, now that I'm out and I'm working a lot more, a lot more hours, I'm now worried that my kids are not getting the best. The truth is, nothing is going to be perfect. If you're working at home, you're gonna be worried that you're not making enough money, perhaps. Or, you know, you're worried that you're not giving your children all the time in the world. Or there's always gonna be something. Even right now, I feel guilty because I'm in the park when I should be at home. <laughs> Maybe the best thing to do is just to put yourself first. Like, I've heard people say, oh no, I need to put my kids first, my kids come first. I don't know. Do, do kids need to come first? And I'm not saying that they're not important, but surely the sanity, sanity, sanity and the peace of mind of the parents should come first, right? Here's my theory. If I'm a happy mum, right surely that must make a happy child because I'm gonna go I'm gonna have all the right energy to look after them to provide for them to be me to all these activities everything is going to be right right 